everybody and welcome back to Empty Pockets Ironworks. Thank you for joining me on this beautiful Saturday morning. I really appreciate each and every one of you for tuning in. This is a request. Uh, I had a gentleman by the name of Jake actually message me yesterday on our maple leaf video and he requested that I make a turtle and I love the idea of it. I was actually trying to figure out what I was going to do for a video for this weekend and uh, I've done turtles in the past they turn out super cute. Uh, everybody loves them. It's a decent seller. Um, I cheat a little bit. A person could cut out of 14 gauge material or 18 or even 20 gauge and dish the top of it. Very similar to what I do for our skulls that we make. On the turtles, however, I use these. This is, of course, a pipe cap. You can pick these up at most hardware stores, weld shops, that sort of thing. Typically, they carry these. They're just a weld-on pipe cap. They come in all different shapes, or excuse me, all different sizes. And uh, they're relatively inexpensive and it saves you a lot of work. What I'm going to do with this one is after I decide what type of texturing and shaping I'm going to do on the top of it with either um, a dimple die or a punch, I will throw this thing in the forge, heat it up, draw it out, to kind of bring it to an oblong, oblong shape and then I'll heat it back up again and I'll use a set of pliers or tongs and I'll curl the edges up. And in doing so it very much mimics the look of a box turtle. Uh, if a person wants to make any sort of different type of turtle this is a good starting point and it will save you a lot of time and a lot of effort. I know in the realm of blacksmithing everybody likes to do everything the hard way so I'm cheating but you know that's what modern blacksmiths should be doing, right? Uh, anyway, we'll get started. Jake, this is for you. I really appreciate all the comments uh, from everybody. If you have an idea, if you want me to try something, if you have a suggestion, you see something that I'm doing and you don't understand why, or you would like to see me do it differently, by all means, drop me a comment. Positive, negative, doesn't matter. All that stuff helps me build a better channel, and that helps me to produce better content for people like you. So I really appreciate it. Let's get started. So real quickly, what I've done here is I've actually marked the inside of this to mimic the outside of the turtle shell. And where each one of those little points are, or just inside of it, I'm going to put a dimple using the wooden block in the vise. I'll of course heat it up in the forge first, and that should help give me a little bit more of an organic or natural shape to this turtle shell. I'll actually do this before I start drawing out the ends. 